I'm Emilio Pazmino, and today we're at a place called Guano, outside of the Ecuadorian capital of Quito. And we're going to be looking for hummingbirds. So right here we have a chart of the different species of hummingbirds that we can find around the feeders here in Guango. Today, we're gonna try to see how many species we can find, but we're actually looking for one in particular, which would be right here, the sword built hummingbird. I'm hoping I can show you guys, because this is a very unique bird. Hummingbirds are among the smallest birds in the, on the planet and are only found in the Americas, from Alaska all the way down to Argentina. They have extremely fast metabolism with a heart rate of over 1,000 beats per minute and a breathing rate of over 250 breaths per minute. Some species can also beat their wings 80 times per second. Because of this, they are the only birds that can hover in place or fly backwards. To replenish their energy, they must constantly feed on nectar or they will die from exhaustion. Surprisingly, they can sit still for short periods of time and when they are sleeping, they enter a hibernation-like state called torpor, where their metabolic rate falls significantly to conserve energy. With over 130 species, Ecuador has the largest variety of hummingbirds in the world. The best way to get a glimpse of these tiny speedy birds is by visiting feeders like this one, where there are large congregations of multiple species in a small area. Despite their diminutive size, they are highly territorial, and are constantly fighting amongst themselves. No sign of the sword belt yet, but I did find another species with an oversized appendage, the long-tailed sylph. As if his glittering purple neck and turquoise forehead wasn't enough, the male has an extremely long tail. This tail is so ridiculously long that it hinders their flight capabilities and is only useful for courtship purposes. The females pick the males with the longest tails because it shows that they can fly despite the greater inconvenience, proving that they are the strongest flyers. The females do not have these long tails so that they can sit in the nest and incubate. We are now at the feeders at the bottom of one of the trails and we have come across our first animal that is not a hummingbird. This is the Central American agouti, called guatusa by the locals. The agouti is a type of rodent related to guinea pigs. They mostly eat nuts, roots, and fruits, and have a characteristic feeding style of sitting and holding their food with their hands, kind of like squirrels. Agoutis are shy by nature and have a strong sense of smell. When they detect a predator, they can run very fast and dash straight to their burrows. Well guys, we did it. That right there, is the sword-billed hummingbird, the only bird with a beak that is longer than its body. This bill is so long that they can't use it to preen their feathers like other hummingbirds, using their feet instead. The reason the sword-billed hummingbird has such a long beak is because of this flower right here, called Passiflora mixta. And due to its long bell structure, most hummingbirds can't actually reach in there and get the nectar. So the sword-billed hummingbird has evolved a very long beak to be able to reach all the way here and that way it avoids competition with the other hummingbirds. These two species went through a process called co-evolution, where one depends on the other for survival. The hummingbird can only feed from that flower and that flower can only be pollinated by that hummingbird. Although the sword bill and the silk were the main targets in today's video, I was able to photograph other hummingbirds that were simply beautiful. We also found a couple of birds that weren't hummingbirds, either hanging around the feeders or hiding among the trees. As fun as this was, we have to continue our trip to Quito. So we're going to have to say goodbye to these little guys. Until next time.